Hey family, how are you guys doing today? Hope that you had a great Easter Sunday yesterday and today is April Fool's Day. So yes, I do not have any jokes to share with you, but I do have some breaking good news to share with you today in regards to our Social Security beneficiaries. You guys recall the recent issue in regards to beneficiaries getting overpayments from the Social Security Administration office. Uh, well, those things have been going on for quite some time. In fact, uh, several years in which individuals, beneficiaries have been reporting that the Social Security Administration office is contacting them and clawing back some of the money that they have paid over the last few months or even as much as years. Well, guys, you can see in this particular story right here where it says that Social Security overpays billions of dollars to people, many who are on disability, and then it wants to demand some of the money back. As you can see in this just recent story right here that came earlier this month in which this individual in North Texas, my home state, I believe her name was Dafina Brissock, uh, well, she said said that uh, the Social Security Administration office had contacted her and told her that they have accidentally overpaid her by $41,000. And of course, they are wanting to get that money back. How can someone pay this money back when our beneficiaries are already not receiving enough money just to survive, just to put food on the table? And then we saw another story uh, that came earlier this month in which this particular couple in Palm Beach, I guess it was Florida, but uh, anyways, they were told that they owed $81,000 to Social Security after the administration ended up overpaying them over a long period of time. And in the statement from this particular couple, they said that, look, it's their error, not our error, and we feel like you know it's wrong. Uh, yes, guys, that is exactly what Jim, the particular person in this couple, uh, ended up saying to the Social Security Administration office. Well, the good news is that I do have some good information in regards to what the new commissioner of Social Security recently stated uh, in his particular comments. Yes, he ended up unveiling that he is vowing to end the clawback cruelty with a new plan for benefit overpayments. Uh, yes, new Social Security Commissioner. Commissioner Martin O'Malley has unveiled a four-step plan to change the way the agency handles overpayment issues. Some beneficiaries have received notices demanding repayment of benefits, sometimes for sums totaling tens of thousands of dollars. Three months into the role of commissioner, like I said, he is the new commissioner of the Social Security Administration Office, Martin O'Malley. Uh, yes, he said that he wants to do something about it. This is just cruel and we have got to do something to make things just a little bit better. He said in a statement that, look, we are no longer going to have that clawback cruelty of intercepting 100% of a payment if people do not respond to our notices. Uh, yes, he told the Senate Committee committee on aging this past Wednesday. Well, the plan comes after some beneficiaries who received excess benefit payments have received letters from the Social Security Administration demanding for repayments of those sums of thousands of dollars. So it looks like uh, the Social Security Administration office is not necessarily acknowledging that they have made a mistake, but they are wanting to at least make things a little bit better in regards to trying to retrieve some of that money back from uh, these recipients, which I will say will be a very hard task to do considering that Social Security beneficiaries already are without a lot of money as it is. So this could be a very challenging task in regards to his four-step plan. But I also have a little bit of better news to share with you today, and that is what just came out over just a couple of days ago, guys. Uh, it says that as of March the 25th of 2024, the Social Security Administration Agency will collect only 10% or $10, whichever is greater of the total monthly Social Security benefit to recover an overpayment for these beneficiaries. Rather than collecting 100%, as was previously the procedure, there will be limited exceptions to this particular change, such as when an overpayment resulted from fraud 
they are only going to be asking for about 10% of the total amount that you receive on a monthly basis versus requiring beneficiaries uh, to provide 100% of their monthly payment. So uh, I will say that this won't necessarily fix the issue overnight. However, it is a good start uh, to fixing the major problem in regards to overpayments in which uh, we all agree on this, you as well as myself, we all agree that uh, this is the administration administration's office. This is their issue in which uh, they should pretty much eat the bill, if you will. They should not necessarily uh, charge individuals for just receiving money in our hands because we didn't necessarily, or not, I say we, but I'm referring to beneficiaries of Social Security. They didn't necessarily make up the amount of money that they should be receiving on a monthly basis from the agency. Uh, so the agency is what determines how much money each individual or beneficiary should receive receive on a monthly basis. So therefore, it should be their issue because they figured out the numbers. They messed up. Uh, they created the error. They ended up sending out the overpayments. And now they are wanting to claw back the money as if it was the beneficiary's issue from the get-go. Uh, wouldn't you guys agree? If so, uh, definitely hit the like button down below and comment if you agree with what I just stated. But uh, anyways, it does look like we do have a little bit of a fix on the table, which is some good news because a lot of beneficiaries that have been told that they need to uh, pay back a lot of money, thousands of dollars back to the agency, uh, they ended up getting their monthly checks halted altogether, which can you imagine you relying on social security monthly checks every single month and then all of a sudden those checks come to a halt. That could be devastating for our seniors, for our social security beneficiaries, those on SSI, SSDI, VA beneficiaries, all of the above. That could be a tragedy. Uh, just to think about that, guys, I can't even imagine. Hopefully no one had to deal with that in regards to watching this particular channel. But if so, or if you know someone, we definitely want to keep them in our prayers at this particular time. But it does look like things are getting just a little bit better for our social security beneficiaries in regards to how they are going to handle the overpayments moving forward. But again, we have that particular change that has just happened within the last six days or so. And then we also have where the new commissioner O'Malley says that he has a four point plan in place to actually make things a little bit better in regards to retrieving those overpayments from Social Security. So uh, anyways, I believe that this is some great news, some big news, some breaking information that I definitely wanted to share with you guys today. But uh, what do you guys think about this? Do you think that this is a move in the right direction? Uh, because the other direction, they were just shutting down people's monthly payments. You just can't shut that down in the middle after these individuals were expecting, were uh, receiving this money on a monthly basis and using it just to survive, just to put food on the table, just to pay for their lights to stay on, just to pay for the water bill, uh, things of that sort. And all of a sudden you shut down those payments. Shame on you, Social Security Administration Office. That is no way to treat our beneficiaries, the ones who have worked 35 plus years in the United States and now uh, you are trying to take some of their money away, uh, that is not right, guys. So we definitely want to see a new change in policy and the way that they handle uh, these overpayments. And hopefully they have actually fixed the issue of those overpayments going out to the individuals because if they don't, this is just going to trickle along and affect even more people in the near near time years. So again, uh, that is the new change on the table. So I definitely want to share that with you. And then speaking of another subject, I do want to touch on this real quick in regards to on the political side. And that is because uh, President Biden, which is running for a re-election in regards to the 2024 for presidential election in which uh, Biden ended up having a huge fundraiser over the weekend in which he ended up inviting uh, the former president uh, Obama as well as the former president Clinton in which guys they raked in a ton of money in fact they ended up raising about 26 million dollars from this weekend event they ended up charging ticket sales for this particular event between $225 per ticket up to 
a half a million dollars per ticket for this event and they ended up raking in a large sum of 26 million dollars in just one event that was huge they are saying that it pretty much uh, trumped uh, Donald Trump's raising for the entire month of February. I believe for the month of February, he only raised about $20 million and the Bidens as well as Obama and Clinton raised $26 million in one day. That was a huge amount. But of course, uh, people were talking about this and the former president, Donald Trump, heard about it in which he put out a small statement in regards to uh, those comments from this huge fundraiser event. And Trump said that, look, I'm going to host my own event as well, and it is going to be even bigger fundraiser than what President Biden did. So again, we'll just have to see what type of fundraiser that Trump holds within the next few days or so to see if he can kind of uh, compete with Biden and his fundraiser. Uh, we don't know necessarily because Trump, he does have a voice. It does carry very far, and he does have a lot of people that really like and support him. So uh, I'd be curious to see exactly how much he can raise from his event as well and uh, what big hitters that he actually invites to his fundraiser. So I'll keep you guys posted on that as usual. But uh, lastly, uh, we did find out over the weekend, right before Easter, Trump put out a new uh, particular product that he wanted to sell to the American people. And uh, this time it's getting a little bit of mixed reviews because it is saying that he is now selling Bibles. Uh, yes, Trump said that he wanted to sell Sell these particular special Bibles for around $60. And these particular Bibles are in regards to Making America Pray Again, uh, the USA Bible. So uh, a little bit strange. Uh, I believe the Bible is called God Bless the USA Bible. And he is selling them in his latest venture for $60. His previous venture that he was selling those gold shoes for around $550. And now he is selling these Bibles which is getting a little bit of mixed reviews uh, so far. Like I said, this came out a few days before Easter and uh, we haven't really gotten any numbers in regards to the sales uh, for these particular U.S. Bibles. So uh, anyways, I just wanted to share that information with you. But definitely, if you get a time, comment down below. Let me know what you think about this new improvement to the Social Security over payments and how they are trying to handle this moving forward. I would love to get your thoughts on that. Also, if you haven't already, hit the like button on this channel as well as on this video because it really helps out. And then if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out a lot and helps us grow. Uh, but in the meantime, outside of all of that, I hope to see you guys on the next video.